Okay. I'm just going to um, talk you through the process of the painting here and um, see if I can give you any tips or any advice along the way to do with the um, to do with the painting. Okay, jumping right in here, we have uh, the color key. Just um, not too worried about values. Just trying to get the color down. Um, obviously, color includes values, but but you're not too concerned with them. I think I went with my first one here. I think this is the only one I did. Um, yeah, and uh, straight on to the value, uh, the value painting. So just making sure that everything reads well. Um, you would have had an understanding of the values while you were sketching the actual composition. You, you understand, well, I did anyway. I understood that the forest bed will be in the background um, and then the midground would contain this big dominant tree and the little shop stall and then um, anything in front of that would be foreground so mainly just the floor and a little bit of the canopy poking down from above um, here I'm just doing the um, clean line art sketch I don't normally do these um, it really does depend on the purpose of the illustration so um, if it was more professional, if you were doing it for a client, if, if it was supposed to be clean and you wanted to go back and reread things, then I would do a clean line art sketch. But if not, I, I would jump in straight straight from the rough, I think, especially if I had my value and my color key to guide me, then I think I'd be OK. And here, just um, cutting up the values in a... Um, in a clean way, trying to keep everything color coordinated on the layers panel, if you can notice. Um, so that when I apply my base colors, that they're all clipped and clean. I make a copy of the values. Um, I put them all into a folder and then control J to make a duplicate. And I keep that just on the side, just in case I, um, I need to start fresh on any sp specific shape or layer. And yeah, so the base colors are down now. I think I'm fairly happy with these. It was always gonna be a sunny um, blue green with that striking red, um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> market stall, uh, traveling market stall. The idea was um, was to have this kind of perfect setup place. So it's a um, traveling, uh, traveling market with this old, old guy. Um, um, setting up his little his little stall in the perfect place. I think I called the, the piece something like perfect setting or the perfect place to set up, something like that. And now I am applying um, some of the rough shading. So after the base colors um, go on in the correct values, you want to kind of, just before you start to, to really get into the details and paint, you want to, you want to really get the overall shadow and the lighting in there just to make sure that you've got something to follow as you're going through the painting because you don't want to be halfway through the painting and realize that you've got conflicting light sources or or what one thing's lit from one angle another thing's got another light source and it's it's just a bit messy um things like all of these things like values and and where your lighting set up and your colors they should kind of be in your head to begin with the concept isn't just composition the concept is what story am i telling what what, what yeah you know, basically what story am i telling and what colors i'm going to use and what values and what perspective ex and what lighting i'm going to use to reinforce that story so i used a kind of um sun piercing through the canopy of the trees this one uh, big tree creating a a shadow um, so that the the bits where the light are shining through can be more dynamic, and it just makes it easy for me. It makes it easy to reinforce the focus on the on the market stall by having the light come through the trees, and by having this big, let's call it an oak, oak tree, by having that in the immediate 
area we can kind of cast a greater shadow so that there's a bigger contrast between where the light is shining through and where it isn't so that really helped everything else helps the composition as well too by by having kind of um this low angle um uh by having the low angles sort of emphasize the the marketplace um by the framing having it right directly in the middle Once you've got your base colors down, then you start doing the initial shading. So I use a big soft brush, a big airbrush to get the kind of, um, uh, the start of the forms coming through. So um, with the tree, I knew it was gonna be very dark at the top because there's not a lot of light getting in there with that ambient occlusion uh, being a big um, factor there. And getting the, um, getting the light in. The light on the uh, market store is a clipping mask um, set to color dodge possibly I, I might have used a, a combination of color dodge and overlay just to get it in there and I think I added it later with a little bit of um, airbrushing around the sides just to burn burn the color in there a lot more here yeah, I'm just um, just detailing the canopy just really just starting to render now it's come to the point where that's the only thing left to do really apart from the balancing at the end I think with with a um, sorry with a forest setting it, there's a lot of color variation that you want to get into the foliage I see a lot of um, forest illustrations and they're lacking even when they have the values um, a dark light and a medium value to kind of group group the values to take control of the foliage so it isn't just it isn't just a mess it, it looks like it actually has direction to tunify in other words um, cell shade the foliage um, you also need a lot of color variation in there so it really complicates things quite quickly if you don't really have a grasp of it like i think the background started off almost monochromatic for me and it it still is at this point but i think later on in the video i start to add warmer tones into there and even kind of a few purples at the top and into the branches so yeah, focusing my attention at the moment on the marketplace kind of jumping all over the canvas i'm looking for places that need more rendering before before you kind of see the real thoughts in the image here i am just adding a rim light to the tree it one it needed it i think um it was a little bit it was a little bit lacking if it was just sort of solely lit from the bounce light from the floor but also that is a more direct that is bounce light but it's uh it's kind of more direct it it, it reinforces the sunniness of the day the kind of the warmth and the the brightness that it is that it is daytime you can you can have a very dark value scene and still it can be it, it can be illustrated that it's a sunny day with with a few tricks here and there like um make, like making the bounce light um very vibrant having the rim light even though you can't see the green that's hitting uh, that's bouncing up against the tree uh, having the green there um, suggests that uh, there is a patch of grass not too far away that's illuminated and grass has this kind of subsurface scatter glow effect that happens when the sun is directly on it as well it almost illuminates and becomes an emissive so it is it it is quite bright and that and that can be illustrated quite easily with with things like bounce light just detailing the the canopy in the foreground here getting um getting a few of those warmths in there and here as well, I wanted to, um, it takes a little bit of uh, back and forth with the layering. Um, yeah, it, it's always gonna be a combination of color dodge, screen, lighten, or overlay to get the right effect. I don't know what it is yet, but, um, and the right colors as well. I don't know what it is to get these perfect sun, like sun piercing through the canopy. What, what are they called, god rays? But, it seemed to have worked. I was quite happy with it there. I was, I was, I was okay with that.
again just more around the concentrating my um concentrating on the marketplace for the focus you kind of want to as you're rendering you can get lost in the details it's fairly common i think that um that you can get lost in the details when you're rendering it's a it's a common mistake that like a lot of people's sketches look a lot better than their final renders and that's because they've lost focus i think it's to do with a few things but i think one of the main things is that you've lost that focus you've lost that um raw perspective that you had at the start and you've kind of went in and you've concentrated your detail on a rock that's in the corner the value of this tree on the side isn't the same as what you had it in the original value sketch or even before that in the original sketch in your mind the lighting wasn't wasn't the same either so that's just something to bear in mind the character there i just added real quickly i'm, I'm not a character artist so it's it's not too important for me but i always want to try and get a few characters in just to just to have something to emote um to sort of read and sort of give yourself an um, sort of emotion to kind of cling to in the piece so it's it's coming to the end now i think it, i am at this point just adding color variation just to breathe a lot of life into the ground into the environment making sure the bounce light on the marketplace is, is clean is proper i think the background can be balanced a little bit better but overall i'm quite happy with the piece it it didn't take as long as a lot of my other pieces and it's all the better for it and i think that's because i had a a strong line art a strong composition to begin with i i just I followed my original intent and that's basically it there is the final illustration I'm fairly happy with it I'm I'm fairly happy with it yeah it, it, it turned out quite a lot like how I envisioned in the first place which is all I can ask for really so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video uh, leave a like if you can and subscribe or leave a comment if you want. I've, I've noticed that a lot of my followers are very talented anyway. Um, we have a Discord server. I'll link it down below. And um, a lot of them are very talented. So it's um, if you can leave a comment, maybe comment what you would do differently. Or if you would do anything anything differently. Maybe a different choice of colours, etc. So yeah, thank you for joining. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.